year. Welcome back to the Adulthood Podcast. Volume 59, May 27th. Happy Memorial Day. Yep. Shout out to the veterans. Shout out to all of you guys. Thank you guys for coming back to another episode. This is another great episode. Great. Where we tell some college stories. Yep. We talk about the official way to wingman. Yep. And we get into some other side stories that we think you might enjoy. Some doctor stories. Yep. Just another good episode. This is a people great just episode. love it when we just talk and just tell them about our lives. That's what people like. Don't you talk for a living? That's what I do, baby. Boom. You want to see me live this weekend? I'm at the Dayton Funny Bone on the 31st and the 3rd. Come see me, Dayton, Ohio. And for June, I'm taking a little break in June and I'm back on the road in July. And then we're going full throttle till we film at the end of the year. Thank y'all for listening. Adoha Pod. Tune in. Peace. Yo, welcome back, baby. Woo! Volume 59 coming out. Is this Memorial Day? I think it's Memorial Day. May 27th? Yep. It yep. is the day of memoriams. Um, shout out to all the veterans out there. Shout out to all the veteranos. We, I uh, mean, see, this is the Adult Hub Podcast, number one health and wellness podcast in the hood. I'm Ian Larry. This is DJ NPM. We got Marty B. and Johan the Zohan. Yeah, pressing the buttons. Um, excuse me, we haven't got a voicemail in a long time. If you want to send us a voicemail, three four seven three seven eight nine four two. Three. Hit us up, baby. It's nice to be back. Uh, sometimes we, because of uh, the travel schedule, we don't get a chance to like link up for like a, a couple of weeks. But it's nice you get together. We have like a lot of stuff to talk about. Pow wow! I do have one thing I want to get into immediately. Talk to me. I was watching a podcast. I was watching the Club Shay Shay podcast. Okay, that's the one Cat Williams went on. Uh huh. Whatever. And he recently had uh, Kel from Keenan and Kel on. Uh huh. And in the interview, they're talking about Kel is telling a story about how. His ex-wife or girlfriend got pregnant by another man twice in the relationship, and he stayed. <laughs> same guy? I think this, this is the face that they've been talking about. <laughs> I don't know if it was the same guy, but, like, but it happened twice. <laughs> but not by him. <laughs> no, but not by him. And even even Shannon Sharp is like, come, come on. on. He's like, twice? He's like, come on. One is crazy. Twice? One is crazy. Bro. But it happened again? That's wild, bro. That's wild. That's cr- I don't even I don't have the words. I have you even... now have you heard of this ever in life? Like have you heard of like a, a fr- anybody you know their girl getting Get pregnant? pregnant and them staying? Yeah. But getting pregnant by somebody else and them staying? Yeah. Not that I can recall. Uh, yeah. Not 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 off the top of the dome. That's why I've heard of women staying. No, women stay all the time. Yeah, I've heard of that. How, how, what do you think, Marty? Have you heard of this? No. That's crazy. Of a girl getting pregnant and the dude <laughs> staying and it yeah. happening. I've seen it on Mari and Jerry Springer. That happens a lot on there. But Not I've seen, personally. I've seen like the girl. I, personally, I know of women who they man got a girl on the outside pregnant. Pregnant and they stayed. Yeah. But that's different. That's on the mm-hmm. outside. It really? ain't on the inside. And he stayed twice, <laughs> like through the whole pregnancy, because that's nine twice. months a piece, I think. Right? Wait, did she keep the babies? I didn't both finish. Time? I didn't finish listening because I was laughing the whole time. But like you, like all right. So we're talking about how the difference is. Like you know, if the guy gets a girl pregnant, there's no like changes in the guy's body. You know, that's what I'm saying. There's no you watched hormones. your lady get fat. Not fat. <laughs> that's the wrong word. Get pregnant. Pregnant. Yeah, that's like, the right word. Tri- there's trimesters. There's, there's yeah. not there's this changes. You watch cravings. your lady get pregnant by another man. But not for she had like morning sickness. That would be I couldn't have you having morning sickness and another man's and baby. And it's not my baby. But maybe he didn't know at the time. Maybe okay, he, the first time. Yeah, maybe he didn't know at the time. <laughs> Maybe both times he didn't know. How would you know? If the, it's your lady, you think it's yours, right? But what if the baby comes out? You but know, I'm saying you got you got different features. You got to wait till the baby's out to know. The, the first time, yeah, okay. And then he stayed that time, and then the second time he was like, "It, it gotta be mine." Who would do this twice? But the baby has blue hair. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> who, who would do this twice? <laughs> uh, and then he and then she did it again, and he stayed afterwards. That's what he said. He said, "Yeah, he stayed." Mm. That's love. Mm. Uh, remember the episode before with the uh, the girl who said you had a little dick? Yeah, that's like was that's the kind of guy that she was with. Ah, listen, I know there's a lot of men that listen to this podcast that have been cheated on by their wives, but 
That's a lot. That's man. too much. That that's, is that's way too much. That is a lot, man. Oh man. Oof. Yeah, that's 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 great. I mean, look, if you in love, do what you do. Forgive, forget. You know, you go to church and then get loves. I have, man, but so, some I, I have like a some men don't just don't have that ego, I guess. Or don't, don't have but twice, twice is wild. That's man. wild, bro. Twice yeah. pregnant, and because like why? Like I will, I will really like why you keep getting pregnant? Like one one time you messed up. The twice I'm like, you you trying to get pregnant? <laughs> Are you trying to embarrass me? Not trying. You're embarrassing. Yeah, like one, and he's famous. That's probably he's not like it. this is the guy from Good Burger. Can I take your order? I'm a, I'm a person. You out here getting pregnant? Huh. I gotta finish that interview because I have to. Please. I gotta get to the bottom and of report it. back because that's wild, bro. Hell no, mm. I don't know. Journal say, yeah, that's, that's, that's how you say it. That's really wild. That's really wild. That's crazy. Um, anyways, I was in uh, Albany uh, last weekend. Um, we didn't we didn't get into it on the shout last out to episode. Albany. Yeah, shout out to Albany. I did the Albany Funny Bone. Albany Funny Bone is one of those. It's a good club, man. It's one of those clubs. I remember doing it like starting out. Mm -hmm. Like I was, I I did it. I think I just hosted. Well, I might have featured there for mm -hmm. Michael Winslow, the comic from Police from Academy. Police Aca the, yeah, the, the, he does the, the voices. The voices and yeah. the beatbox. Yeah, that's a throwback. Right, right. I I, I remember opening for him. And then I've been back to headline twice. And that's like a full coming, a full circle when you like a full coming of age, full circle when you open like open up and open up and then you're back at the club as yeah. a headliner. Um, I had a Sienna, a comic, very funny comic, mm -hmm. Sienna Hubert Ross. Check her out. She's Shout very out funny. Sienna. She opened for me. We might have her on the pod. She's okay. a, like a funny comic. Okay. And we had a good time. She did get me sick though. Which, did she? Yeah. Like, which that's. That's not cool. Yeah. That's. Yeah. Especially if you're inviting her on the road. I feel like getting somebody sick who you like, I think that's worse than giving someone an STD. Mm. Because when you give somebody an STD, it's personal. They had, they still had sex at the end of the there day. There was a benefit. Yeah, there Something. was a benefit. There was yeah. an exchange. With this, I got no benefit. None. I just let you open for me and, and then you gave me a code for free. <laughs> Literally for free. I don't get it. Now, now you have to it's come a, out of your pocket. Yeah, it's a lose lose. You lost. I had to take three days off. You, yeah, that's because you, you got me money? sick. And do you have health insurance? Yeah, I just got it. Right. Imagine yeah. if you didn't have that. It's nice. Yeah, so I could get sick now. Because I got health before insurance. you couldn't. I'll be going to urgent care. Oh, uh, okay. You are urgent care. Person? I'm a big urgent care. Direct. I told you about the time I went to urgent care to take an STD test and the person recognized judge, me. Uh, no. I didn't tell that story. Oh no. That I was thought so they were going to judge you. That they was so embarrassing, you? I don't even know. Like, I, to be honest, I don't know how like real celebs like do, do life. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I think you got to know a friend that comes over to your you house and to. does these things. So I went to urgent care to, uh, uh, I think I went to take a COVID test. Um, this was like during COVID times. I think I went to take a COVID test. And I was, I'm, I'm the kind of guy, if I go to the doctor, if I'm at a doctor's office, I one. take an STD test. All like every one. time. Okay, yeah. what? So I go to this urgent care. It's far out in Queens, like far Rockaway. Take my COVID test. Then I'm like, all right, <laughs> I'm here. Let me just take an STD test or whatever. And they, I guess somebody else was taking an STD test too. Uh -huh. And... She, they asking me like, do you have any symptoms or whatever? And I'm like, nah, nah. I, I just came here for the COVID test, but I take an STD test um, while I'm here. And they're like, all right, well, just pee in the cup or whatever. I'm like, all right. I go in the room, I wait. The doctor comes in, is a girl my age, attractive. We apparently went to college together. An attractive girl my age, we apparently went to college together. I didn't recognize her, I didn't remember her. She recognized me obviously, cause I'm like famous. And she walks in and she's like, Ian, Ian Larry? <laughs> she says your whole Yeah, name. she's like, Ian Larry? I'm like, yeah, was yeah. She's like, we went to high school together. What you doing in here? And I'm like, nah, I just came in here to take a COVID test. And she's like, oh, you think you got COVID? And then she starts looking at through the thing, through the chart. <laughs> and she's like, oh, it says here you was taking the STD test. Mm, what you been doing? <laughs> She's black. She's like a black girl. Clearly. Yeah. Did I give that away? She was not white. Yeah. 
She's like, mm, what you been doing? And I'm like, nah, I ain't been doing nothing. I just, I'm just yeah. doing she's the right like, thing. I'm like, yeah, I just like to take a test every time I'm at the doctor's office. And she's like, mm-hmm, <laughs> looking at the thing. And we all wearing face masks, so we don't get like smiles. We don't get that. Or it's just eyes. eyes. It's just serious eyes. <laughs> So I don't know if she's joking with me or if she's doing, uh, if she's being serious. She's like, mm-hmm. well, let me look at this chart. And she's like, well, we gonna have to send this out. Oh so no. We'll call you if anything, but how's the comedy going? And I'm like, yeah, the comedy, you know, you get on stage, people laugh, whatever. But this is why, this is why some men don't take don't STD take, tests. But did, did I ever tell you why I stopped like going to my family doctor from when I was young and then I had to go and find my own doctor? Oh no, I got a story for that too, but it let me hear the, yours. It was the same situation where I had a family doctor, you know, the pediatrician, but like transitioning, this was my freshman year in college and we were doing, a, I was doing a physical for sports and I'm like, you know what, let me go ahead. I'm active. So let me just make sure I'm doing the right thing. I wasn't out here wilding, but- my doctor, his his whole family became doctors. So his son was a doctor, his daughter was a doctor. So now I'm being treated by his son. So I'm in there, I'm letting him know I had the paperwork from, from the team. Like, yeah, I got to get a physical. And then I'm like, you know what? I would like to get an STD test. He was just like, hey, hey. he was an African doctor too. Hey, hey. Yeah. Uh-huh. So you out there, you out there wilding, huh? With the, yeah. with the white girls. I'm just like, bro. White girls? Where do, where where do we get talking? race from? Where, how, what? Like, how do you? You know what? That was the last time I ever stepped foot in our office. That I'm happened like, with me too. I, I'm finding my own doctor. For that ha- I, That's crazy. I think I might have told this story, but I had I had a Dominican doctor que lo que? Who, I, who I grew up with, and I, she I had her since like I was like eleven. So she she knew she me, my sister, up. and my mom. She uh-huh. saw me grow up. Problem with some of these Dominican doctors, they be too familiar they with you. They think that you're, they think they that you're like their family, yeah. right? So first of all, I would go to the doctor. She will have me waiting like three, four hours. And I would see like white people come and they'll get their attention I mean, right away. Like they'll get scared. And me, she was just like, make yourself at home, you know, like whatever. And then when it came, first of all, when it came, having a woman doctor as a guy is like, I feel like when you go to a gynecologist and actually, I think some women do go to male gynecologists, right? A lot. But I don't want a woman doctor sometimes because they got to like grab your you know your junk or whatever and then you do the std test but i remember going through like the std thing and she does the same thing like i'm like oh can i get an std test and i'm like 19 in college she's like oh what you been doing Mm -hmm. let me find out i'll call your mom and like you call my mom with no mask this is before the mask right right did i ever tell you what she did when i took the std scare oh my god this was one of the scariest three days of my life what what, she didn't tell nobody did she let me tell you what happens this is this is is a crazy this is for at this point in my life this was the craziest story that happened to me uh medically uh well i got circumcised but after that um so I went, this is the time, I went to take an STD test. I take the STD test, whatever, you pee in a cup, you know, blood, blood, whatever. I do all those things. I leave, you know, I'm not, like, I don't have any symptoms or anything, so I don't think anything of it. I go home, whatever, I'm at work the next day. I get a call from my doctor. And again, I'm not thinking anything of it because I don't have any symptoms. I'm not wilding. I had a girlfriend at the time. Mm-hmm. I'm not, you know, doing anything crazy. She's just trying to do the right thing. Yeah, so I'm like, I'm at the doctor. Let me take an STD test. She calls me up. She's like, her, her assistant calls me up and is like, uh, uh, may I speak to Ian Lara? I'm like, this is Ian Lara. He's like, uh, yeah, Ian, uh, we just got the results back from your test you took yesterday. And I'm like, okay, yeah, what's up? And they're like, yeah, we're looking at them and we're going to need you to come in. And I'm like, oh, Why? just tell me over the phone. And they're like, no, no, we can't, we can't speak about this over yep. the phone. You absolutely have to come in. And I'm like, okay, well, when can I come in? They're like, well, our next available time is like in three days. So I'm like, can I just come in right now? Like, I want to know now you have this. Uh, she's like, no, no, but please make sure that you don't miss this. And uh, it, it was like, they called me like on Tuesdays. She was like, please make sure you don't miss this appointment on Friday. Friday. It is very important. And I'm like, you're scaring me. Like what? And they're like, yeah, goodbye. <laughs> and then they just hang up. <laughs> I swear. Three days go by. I'm thinking I have herpes, the chlamydia, whole, autism, everything. I, I have the whole thing. And of the, everything. What, what's the, um, what's the term? When you give yourself that stress, are you when you give you are you a hypochondriac? No, like, but if somebody calls you, days, if somebody calls you and tells you that you need to come in because you took an STD test start and legally symptoms. they can't speak about it over the phone, you're gonna start thinking about everyone you've been with, and right? you start feeling symptoms out of nowhere. Like, oh, yeah, no. so I'm upset. I'm calling my girlfriend. I'm calling her a hoe. I'm doing all the things. <laughs> I'm losing it. I'm unhinged. 
I'm unhinged. I'm like, I knew you was a hoe. I knew it. The minute they I knew said it. it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm panicking. Friday comes. I get up early. You know, I put on a suit. I'm trying to look. <laughs> I'm trying to look as classy as possible. I'm trying to like, you know, I'm trying to be. I was like 18. You're trying I'm, to look like a man. Yeah, I'm trying to be presentable. I'm like, if they're going to give me bad news, I I'm going to take, take it, it like a man. <laughs> I got to take it well. So I, so I show up to the doctor in my suit, you know, I'm like, yeah, I'm uh -huh. here to see the doctor. And they're like, oh, we don't have you on the list. And they're like, and I'm like, no, no, they called me. I'm and like, make sure. yeah, they said it was a me. And they were like, oh, you're Ian Lara. I'm like, yeah. They're like, oh no, come with us. I go into the, I, they take me into the back room. I'm sitting there in my suit, you know, I got my <laughs> handkerchief in case I got to cry. I'm like fixing it up. <laughs> I'm just sitting there. The doctor walks in. She's like, oh, she's like, oh, nice suit. She starts looking through the chart. She's like, uh, why are you here? I'm like, cause you called me. You said it was important to come down because of the because of the disease. The yeah. <laughs> and she's like, hmm. She looks on the computer. She's like, what's your social security? I told my social. She's like, Lara, right? I'm like, yeah. She's like, oh. You're fine. We had the wrong Lara. There's another person that needs to come in. And I'm like, you mean you have me rent this suit <laughs> and come to the doctor's office? Curse out my girl. Right. I got to apologize to my girlfriend. I'm like, I'm glad I got the suit. Now I got to show up at her job with, with flowers, flowers in a suit. You Meanwhile, there's this poor bastard with my same last name walking, walking around, around with a smile, and you and you and he don't even know. Oh. That's when I was like, I gotta get a new doctor. You gotta get a new After doctor. After that, I went Jewish. That's it. That's it. That's yeah. it. Yeah, I had to. That's it. When they get too familiar, when they start, you know, trying to call you by your first name and like telling you stories and just like, oh, what what you been doing and all professionalism goes out the window. You gotta go. Yeah, I need my doctor to be like a nerd. I I need I need my doctor to be like an attorney where it's just all. All business. All business, yeah. There's no familiarity. Yeah, yeah. I got, my doctor now is good. He's like a 60 year old something uh, Jewish man. Mine is a 60 something year old black man. Doctor, doctor, you know who he is. And very- Who, who knows who he is? No, nah, just saying, I was. I didn't want to say his name. Oh, oh, yeah. you said you, said you let know let who it, he is. I, like almost, I almost let it slip out. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, Marty, what about, you got any uh, bad doctor stories? You, you probably don't go to the doctor, right? No, I go to the, I mean, I, I, believe you look I like, feel like women go to the gynecologist more. Do I say, were you going to say I look like I don't go to the doctor? <laughs> you look like you're holistic, like <laughs> like you eat sea moss and, and pray at the, at, the, at the moon and stuff. Sound bad? Yeah. <laughs> you do do that too, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. Why she's yeah. laughing? <laughs> you do that also. That's why she's laughing. It's beside the point. I still go, I go to the gynecologist and I go to the dentist and I go to the eye doctor. Yeah. Those yeah. are the three. I don't know if I really care enough to go to a primary care physician. If PCP. I have, I have, my my, uh, my dentist is actually in Dominican Republic and he's like a dentist to like a lot of like the celebrities over there. Over he's there? like a famous dentist. Yeah. So like all the celebrities go to him over mm -hmm. there and his staff there is all like IG models. Yes. With BBLs. Not surprised. Which is like, it makes you want to like clean your mouth before you, you go to the like, dentist. <laughs> so everything. Yeah. yeah. So every time I go, He's like, what are you, you doing? Yeah, he's like, you got the cleanest teeth. And I'm like, yeah, because you have all these butt models standing outside. <laughs> As a sister. Right. And I don't want to be embarrassed when I come here with and a yuck mouth. The, talking about, oh, what you been doing? Right. Yeah. So, yeah, I make sure I take care of my teeth before I come in here. Smart. Shout Smart. out to Dr. Smart. Flaws. Samir. Shout out to Dr. Samir. Yeah. <laughs> so you take a vacation and go to the Yeah, dentist. every time I go to DR, I go to the <laughs> dentist. But it's like, I'll bring my boys because all these, all uh, the, the assistants... I told my boys, like, yo, I'm going to go to the dentist. They want to come. They're like, can we come can with we you? Can we come? Yeah, because also in DR, it's like very different. Like the dentist's office, like, look, he has a whole thing where it's not just a dentist's office. On one side is a dentist's office. And then literally like on the other side of his office is like, you know, when a girl gets like a BBL or work done, like, I guess they got to go see a doctor that gives them massages. So that's what's on the other side. So <laughs> it's literally like, get your teeth worked on and then <laughs> bbl some, massages on the on thing too. and then outside like literally right in front in the courtyard is just like a bar 
like for no reason. It's just like a bar. He knows what he's doing. Right. So it's like you go, you have a couple of drinks at the bar, you watch a couple of girls come get their BBL massage, and then you, and go, then get you go get your teeth cleaned. It's an and experience. it's like you bring your boys and stuff, and they like sell hookah and stuff. Honestly, outside. it sounds very unique. Yeah. Really? So he's killing it it's over there. It's an experience. There. He's killing it. You know, you know, you know, your, your dentist is like, maybe you don't go to the doctor when your dentist has half a million followers. Yeah. Yeah, that's not. I don't think that's a great sign. No, not at all. In medicine, probably not. But I don't want my doctor on Instagram. No, definitely not. DDS, severe DDS. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I'm not one of these people. He's a great guy. I'm not one of these people that like. Sometimes you see these doctors on Instagram, and they're like, you know, they're like social media influencers. Yeah. I don't want my doctor to be on social media. No, 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 no. I want you to be concentrated. Yeah, on I want him to be gotta, studying yeah, 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 all the be time. Concentrated on what you got. What is it? CTE? Con, 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 yeah. Continuing. Uh, equi- uh, what is it? Continuing excellence or something like that. Yeah. Don't yeah. be on IG. Don't no, be on no. Nobody's yeah. stories. Yeah. So it's, it's wild. So does he have reels? Yeah, he he has like reels. Yeah, That's and crazy. he'll make like reels with like celebrities. Fixing their teeth. Yeah, like he'll like they'll come in and they'll be like, yeah, you know, shout out to the doctor, and then the doctor will be like, yeah, you know, I did it, and then you'd see like a butt model walk just by walk the background. By. Yeah, yeah. Huh. yeah. Hmm. It's so funny because I remember one time, like the first time I brought, because like when I'm in DR, like I have, you know, I have like a, a little entourage that I, you know, people I roll with, mm-hmm. and I brought like one of the guys, like he, because I, I, I always tell him to come with me because I don't go place by myself or whatever. Mm-hmm. So he came with me and he was like, "What is this? Like, <laughs> this is not a yeah, this, this is not a dentist's <laughs> office. Yeah, the lady checking us in has a fat ass in Tahiri. He's like, "What's going on? <laughs> what are you doing? Right? Yeah, shout out uh-huh. Tahiri." Yeah, big shout out. But yeah, it's it's a while. Go to the doctor. That's an adulthood pro tip. Definitely, definitely. Go see the doctor. A lot of people are afraid of doctors. This is just people are like Especially dying. like, but when you start getting up there in age too, it's just like, because a lot of my friends or like the older generation, I heard them saying like, yo, I don't want to, I don't want to know. Like they want yeah, to Mario. Yeah, people say that. People say that. That's not like, smart. What do you mean you don't want to know? So you could be walking around with like the worst disease and Actually, I got a little bit of sad news. One of my homegirls, actually, she just like she just passed. Oh my god! Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How she, old was she? She was nineteen. She was thirty-four. Oh my god! Yeah, Condolences yeah, to her yeah, family. She had um, she had cancer, and it was just like, oh, it was one of those things where you're really not expecting it. You know what I'm saying? Especially yeah. like someone that you know, someone that you spend time with, like uh, around your age, because it's like, whoa, how did yeah. that happen? So yeah. It's one of those things where you should really go to the doctor. You know, we joke and stuff, but like, take care of yourself. You know what I mean? Yeah, condolences. I remember yeah. when I was in, uh, when I worked at the airport, I one of my coworkers, he passed at 25 Damn. from cancer. And he was, we was cool. He was close. He was like a life of the party, good mm-hmm. energy dude. Mm-hmm. And he took a couple months off from work where I didn't see him for maybe like eight months. Mm-hmm. And then one day I just saw on Instagram, like people posting like condolences. That's to the him. thing too. It's yeah. the, on IG. It was like, what? Yeah. Like, and I went crazy. to the funeral and that was a really sad funeral because there, like I, I've, I've spoken about this. There's like like funerals, believe it or not, have ranges like like you go to a funeral of somebody who died at like 80 years old. That's how life is it's supposed sad, to go. You made it to 80. Yeah, that's great. You that's a, a great life. 80 years is great. Yeah. If you make it to 80 years. It is great. Yeah. Obviously, you want your people to go on forever. But if you make it to 80, I think you did it. But going to a funeral of somebody who y'all Young. died ahead of their time, that's a lot sadder Very and a tough. lot less Very uh, tough. a lot less funny. Yeah, yeah. Than uh than the older. Yeah. Yeah. You got anything else? Um actually I was watching um it's a Jack Nicholson movie from like two thousand three. It's like a rom com. I'm a big rom com guy. Mm-hmm. Um and my special yeah, romantic comedy on HBO Max. Um and it was very interesting because basically he was an older gentleman who was dating a younger woman, right? They go out to Long Island because um, the younger woman stand at her mom's beach house in the Hamptons. Her mom and her aunt walk in and he's in the fridge with his pants off. He hadn't had, you know, he hadn't fornicated with the young lady yet. Um, and then it turns out that the mom and the gener- and Jack Nicholson end up falling in love. And she had some young doc- so. <laughs> He had a heart attack when they were going to have sex. So he ends up having a heart attack. The mom saves him, gives him CPR, um, and then they end up falling in love. And it's just like, huh, that's crazy. Cause Do you think you could just fall in love at any age? I th- uh, yes. You think I like think so. two 80-year-olds can meet and fall in love? Yeah, I think really? so. Really? Yeah. yeah. That's interesting. Who else is going to understand them? I don't think 80-year-olds are looking for understanding. 
What are they looking for? Death. Mm. You think they're looking <laughs> for it or they're running away from it? No, I think a lot of them are running to it. Oh, uh, okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, most eighty year olds that I meet are don't have like a big desire to live to keep it going. Yeah, they're, they're like, I did the things. There's new eighty year olds though. Like there's no workout, eighty year olds. They deadlifting. Mick Jagger, uh, he's eighty, I believe, right? He's like 81. He's 80 plus. 81, yeah, 82. And yeah. he's like still one of the biggest rock stars. On tour. In ever. But then yeah. there's like Mick Jagger and then there's like Biden. Yeah. <laughs> and he's, <laughs> he's, it's, how's he hanging on? Which, yeah, which is like, there's differences in yeah. 80. It's not every 80 year old not made the same. This is it's a spectrum. Yeah, there's a spectrum on 80 year olds. Yeah. But most of the 80 year olds that I meet, they're like, because they didn't think once you turn 80, people be like, oh no, you want to live long. But you have to know perspective. You have a perspective of a 30 year old is, yeah, you want to live forever because you're you're thinking that life is going to be how it is right now. Even though it might be bad, you might have pain. But think about when you're 80, 80. like how much pain you have, and how much energy you don't, don't have, have, how you've already lived and experienced most things. And not only is you, you, you have to live with the fact that you had all that energy, you had all of that, that bounce back where like, one of the number one killers for, you know, older people is just falling. Like, you know how many times you fall and you laugh? Like, ha Like, you could fall and not literally get up. When was the last time you fell? The other day. You fell? <laughs> yeah. Where? In the crib. How? I was just, That's a big fall. It is. I'm graceful. But I was running with my socks on the hardwood floor, being silly, and... It just Whoop, fell? Fell. Boom. That's right on the That's a big fall. Yeah, bro. yeah. Did they think the, it was another earthquake? That's what I was going to say, yeah. Um, yeah. But it wasn't in Jersey. <laughs> Yeah. No, uh yeah, no. Uh, old people be falling. Yeah. And they and but like it'll mess the, break their hip. Yeah, people be like, yeah, like my grandma fell and died. I'm like, what did she fall? Or she fell off a building? No, like nah, from just the off bed. the bed. Yeah. From and, the bed. It's and scary. died. That's crazy. Yeah. 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 That's but uh, then like you were saying too, with um Mick Jagger, he's in his eighties, but he's also been Mick Jagger for that amount of time. The regular 80 year old has what, 50, 60 years of paying taxes. Of going through like actual life, yeah, they're probably like, I'm ready to check out. Yeah, you know, I look at it, I look at life the way I look at college. Like my when I first got, I remember because I dormed the way when I first got to college, freshman year, it was all energy. It was up. Uh, I was yep. excited. Yep. It was you know I was living off energy. Yep. Sophomore year was more of the same, but even better because I already knew, knew the game. Every, I, you knew the landscape. I knew the game. The landscape. So was I was set. in it, and you didn't have the pressures of graduating like the. Can I interject right here? Please. The best years, honestly, are sophomore and junior year. I mean, you're not you're not saying it. What is Marty shaking her head about? You said no? I don't. We had different college experiences. Maybe. What was the best year for you? Probably freshman year, but it was still freshman a shit year show. Is a, freshman year is a lot of fun, Freshman too. year is like raw fun. Yeah, it's raw fun. It could be, it's like, it's unadulterated. It's just fun. wild. It's yeah. wild fun. Yeah. yeah, but then you're like done with, like to me, I was like, it was like freshman year and then every year after I was like, not this vibe anymore. Really? Well, I, I would say freshman year is like, in life, is like 15 to 30. Woo. That's okay. freshman year. Just mm. energy. It's, it's just energy, energy and, and bad and, decisions. And everything is just, let's go. Yeah, yeah, and bad decisions. And you can bounce back. Yeah. Sophomore year is probably 30 to 45. You still have the energy, but you're a little bit older. So the And you got a little bit of money. And and you know people. That's yeah. the thing. You know and you people. don't have the desire to, to be, do the things you did when you was a freshman. Yeah. So there might be a party and you're like, oh, I, I went, th- I did that already. This I is gold. This is the clip right here. This is yeah. the clip. Clip this. Um, junior year, I would say it's probably 45, 45 to 60. 60. 65. Maybe, let's say 65. Give it 20 years. Okay. 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 That's but, that's the prom. Yeah. That's like the prom of your life, right? How yeah. would you For break, men? How would you break that down? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. How would you break that down? Uh, Yeah. 45 to 65. That's when You're, you've, you've, you got some savings. Uh-huh. You got some life experiences. You've made mistakes. Uh-huh. You've ruined your life, uh-huh. and now you've you're you're calmer and you're ready to learn. And you still could you could still you pop can still out. maneuver. Yeah, you can still pop out to certain things and do certain things. But more or less, you just want to do your stuff and take some vacations, go on vacation, and mm-hmm. like that would be a junior year. And then senior year, it's probably sixty five plus. Which senior year I'm again? Ready. You might pop out to some things. You might still be around. You might still do some things. But by the end of it, you're just ready to go. You're ready to check out. 
You're like, I've, I've done, done all I've the done things. This. I am ready to I've been to homecoming four yep, times. Four times. I've, I've, I've gotten an STD. I've hooked and, up and with the hottest girl. I, I've hooked up with the ugliest girl. I woke up I've gotten on, food poisoning. I woke up on the lawn. I ate pizza at six in the morning. You've lived life. Up. Yeah. Um. Uh. You heard your, your one of your roommates scream, ah, because he poured alcohol on himself. Yeah. Not alcohol you drink alcohol to burn the std off because yeah. that's what you think at that age you've done you've the done things. everything now do um, you think that when you dormed uh i dormed my freshman year yeah you ever were you ever like saw your or or were in the room with your roommate having sex yes yeah yeah me too yeah. i don't think that can even does that even fly in 2024 anymore i don't think is that allowed i think, I think like that's rules exclusive now the, is it no i don't think you could do it yeah it was, a, it was a different <laughs> time that back then yeah no we had a i mean me and my my roommate like our room was like the size of this office basically like with two yeah. little twin beds yeah um, yeah yeah across from each my other my big ass was on the twin yeah the twin yeah. xl the twin xl yep yeah, and uh, that was just part of college. Right? That definitely was a part of college. And then the best part of college, too, at least for me, I, and the reason why I said junior year and sophomore year were the best is because then you could, like, tailor your schedule the way you wanted it to. Yeah. Freshman year, you had the worst pick of classes yeah. because, you know, all of the upper class were you. Basically, you had all of your freshman classes and then any other, like, advanced classes, all of the upperclassmen would take it. So you had the worst teachers. Yeah. You had the worst schedule. Like, I remember- And you learn, right? You, you learn, learn yeah, like, you, maybe don't take a morning class after the party Because you're not a good morning yeah, person. Yeah, you yeah. learn the things. Yeah, you learn that. So my sophomore year, I, I think every year after my freshman year, I had Wednesdays and Fridays off. Yeah, our school didn't really do classes on Friday. So Thursday was like the- The uh, night. The night. It was the Thursday, night. Thursdays. Yeah. Yeah. And I remember like with my roommate, like we was, we, I mean, we still are like super cool. And I, I, I remember like I had to have a talk with him because I'm like, bro, listen, I get it's college. We all have roommates. Put some you clothes know, on. You're trying to have sex with your lady, whatever. That's fine. Right. But I'm in the room. I'm sleeping. Right. So you start it when I'm sleeping. But don't don't try to film a porno while I'm in the room. <laughs> like, bro. What like, are you keep doing? It, keep it like and, simple. And, don't, why am I hearing... <laughs> and, and this is what Blackberry Day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, bro, what? what? I, I'm like, are you showing off? Can you for me? That's crazy. <laughs> this is weird, that's bro. Super weird. This is <laughs> that's crazy. He's trying to put on like, yeah, yeah gonna... you putting on the show. I'm like, bro. <laughs> like, yeah, you better know. <laughs> I'll put it down. <laughs> I really had to have a talk with him, like, bro, like, bro. At could least you like can take you go it to easy? Her, or go to her, take room? it easy on her. <laughs> <laughs> he'd be like, he'd My be like, bad, nah, bro. that's I only got one speed. I'm like, bro, there's no way you only got one speed. He like, this is all I know. Bro, I gotta that, put it down every that, time. You gotta put it. We down We talked about this at that age. That's the only speed. You only had oh, one speed. Yeah, where you think? Where you think that's just, what that's all? That's all you yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. You didn't know how to maneuver after that. Yeah, you had I, to learn how to maneuver after. Bro, that. I remember one time as freshman year. <laughs> I woke up in the middle of the night and it was loud, bro. No. Like when I tell you, like, I like, <laughs> like eye opening loud, where, where you're like, not like, I didn't even want to turn my head to see what was happening because it was wild, bro. And I knew her and him, and I'm like, we're having breakfast you in the morning. See each like, other. Why, yeah, like, why are you acting like you got it? Like, that's the wildest part. <laughs> you got to go to the calf and ask them for a swipe after that, <laughs> that raunchous night. Ugh. I remember bringing it up to them, and they was like, not embarrassed at all. Really? No, they didn't care. They were just like, it is what it is. That's us. Ugh. We, we, uh, that's what I'm saying. That's why it's freshman year. That's why 15 to 30. It's freshman year. You just get it all out of your system. I remember one time, I remember one time I was in my car. Um, and it just wasn't you had a car my, school? Just one yeah, yeah. I had a car since I was 16. Because oh. even though I'm a New Yorker, like I was never like a S public, public trans transportation stuff. I, I, I never loved it. So but I was a car like, on college is, you. That, that's a different echelon, bro. Yeah, no, nah, I got a job. Like when I was 16, I quit the basketball team. I got a job at a pharmacy. I started saving up money. To get your whip. Yeah, and I got me my first car, which was a 1998 Nissan, Nissan Altima. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. In dark burgundy. Okay. Cabernet, bur Cabernet Red. Yeah. Let's call yeah. it. Let's call it that. And I had my car. That's that was the in boxy, there. the boxy back too. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Box back. <laughs> the box back. Okay. Yeah. I don't even know how to tell you. Whatever. I won't say whatever. But I was in my car. It wasn't my roommate or, or one of my close friends. It was with another friend that was in my car. And we he had picked up some girl at the bar, like in in the uh 
whatever. Like at the day we was out, we picked up some girl at the bar, and he was like, "Oh yeah, he was going to bring back the girl to campus." Uh huh. And I'm like, "All right, cool. Like I'm driving back. Y'all could just ride with me." But honest, like honestly, like campus was probably like eight minutes away. Like it was just an eight minute drive. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't long. Like it wasn't crazy. So I, I get in my front seat. I'm driving. He gets in the back seat with the with girl. Her. Yeah. Well, I would try like, all right, whatever. I'm your Uber. I mean, Uber wasn't out there, but I'm like, whatever. I'm your cab driver. Whatever. But it's your girl. You know, it's you a boy. Sit, and it's yeah, a boy. Yeah, you yeah. want to sit next to each other. So I, right, whatever. I'm driving. I tell. I'm like, I'm telling you, like, it's like an eight minute drive. It's like real quick. <laughs> Within three minutes, I look back and they're having sex, sex in my back seat, like full sex. And I'm like, bro, bro, what are you doing? Are you crazy? Like we're going to campus. You, you like, can't you, wait you, eight minutes. Yeah, you you <laughs> eight minutes. You blowing your load before we get on campus. Oh, you you gonna kick her out after this? You're not gonna want her to come in your car. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> double entendre. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Marty. So you're making a face in your car. I don't even know it. Wait. So did you stop when you got to campus? Would you just get out of the car and leave them in your car? Nah, when when we got to campus, they just kind of stopped and went to the and like kept on. Like, what is like it going. about, co- I, bro? I, I swear, I had a similar experience. That's crazy. Yeah, and as a friend, I guess you want to be can't like, block. yeah, you want to be at that at that age. Like now, I would, I call the police. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the if you, yeah, if you start having sex in my backseat, I'll literally pull over and call the police. Yeah. And, and like and like have you arrested but then you trying to be like you know like cool down and, for the, and, down for the, and team. the boy yeah or whatever so you know nah, i'm calling alive. the national guard navy seals like this is not happening not in my car yeah that that Wild. was yeah what was your story my story was and it's a crazy story this is my junior year it wasn't even my car it was my roommate's car and he let us drive it because i had went with him to so he lived in Detroit at the time. So I took a Greyhound bus to Detroit and we road tripped it back. Again, when you're in college, you just do stupid shit like that. Like, oh, I'm going to take a 18 hour drive just to drive back. Um, so my homeboy was dating this girl at the time. Um, she was a little bit older and she was like plugged in with the industry. And this was, um, this was a Thursday night. This was during the season. And we had, uh, we had a game on Saturday and, Friday practice was light. Like, it wasn't full speed. So, Thursday night, you know, when you're young, you're like, that's the night to go out yeah. because you're not going out Friday night and then you want to get your energy for Saturday. So, we go out. She's like, yeah, you know, um, Buster Rhymes is going to be there. I think she was doing, like, PR for Buster Rhymes and this is, like, Buster Rhymes and... When um, Touch It was out. Yeah, right around there. But, like, also Mariah Carey was, like... So, it was... We were in the VIP section with Buster Rhymes, Mariah Carey, and, like, we're... 19 so we have fake ids to get in the club Mm -hmm. it's crazy so we drive down we have a good time i don't drink that's a good thing i didn't drink because i knew we had the game but he had a little bit of drink and then i'm like all right yo we gotta leave so i'm driving back to school and he's in the back seat with her and you know they're kissing or whatever and the next thing you know i'm hearing moaning and like our car the car was all tinted so i I can't even take my eye off the road and i didn't even want to look in the mirror but like it's i'm like bro what are you doing on the high on the west side highway yeah 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 if i crash this car number one my id is fake you know we didn't have no insurance like it would have been all bad but you're in college Oh my God, you just reminded me. Did I ever tell you the story about when I got pulled over on the highway for the girls twerking? <laughs> no. I'm never told this story. <laughs> twerking in the car. Yeah, this was a crazy story. <laughs> so this is during uh during winter break. Or it wasn't maybe it wasn't winter break. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't it was winter break because it was just like a week off. Uh-huh. We just had like a week off from college. But we live back home in in the Queens and You went to school in Long Island, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And for some reason, I mean, this is over 10 years ago. For some reason, we wanted to go back to campus. And we thought, and we knew campus was open because some people stay for winter break. Yep. And we had our keys. So we was like, oh, we could just go hang out in the dorm room. Yep. Nobody's there. And obviously, we're teenage. I mean, we're 19, whatever. So we live at home. So we was like, let's go back to campus. I had the car. Let's go back to campus. And we hang out in the dorm room. So we pick up two of our homegirls mm-hmm. that, like, live on campus, too. And like we're gonna go back to the dorm rooms, get like you know a bottle of Sky Vodka, the Blue Joy, a Sidveka, Sveka. Yeah. Oh my God. Or uh, what was the what was the cotton candy flavored one? 
I can't even remember. Uh, there was like a, a cotton uh, candy flavored. Oh, uh, it was like uh, it was vodka, a vodka, but the, you take shots like a, of it. Was it like the cupcake one? Or something yeah, like was, a cupcake? Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't remember it though. I, but disgusting. Oh. I wouldn't even. I wouldn't. I wouldn't <laughs> pee in that bottle. Now. <laughs> Um, so, so we, we pick up the, the girls and we like head out to like Long Island. We on the, we on the highway, like we blasting like songs. This was around the time that like, she got a donk. Uh-huh. Right? She so got a donk. she got a donk is playing. One of the girls, she, they in the back seat. It's me and my boy in the oh, front no. seat, they in the back seat. One of the girls that she's like wearing sweatpants. She pulls her ass out and starts like twerking, like on, like through the thing. Like she's twerking until she got a donk. And you know we're nineteen, so we Woo! think yeah we think this is the big pimping video. This is like we're, the we're, best thing ever. Yeah, we're like this is this is what it's about. Oh like, my god, she's od twerking like out the like, window. No, or like the... in the front seat. Okay, like, okay, like, okay. In the okay. thing, yeah. And we and we just driving through. We wasn't like speeding or anything. But, but you we just, just we you live in life. Through. And she's like twerking, like her ass hitting me. I'm like I'm trying to drive. I'm trying to drive. <laughs> yeah, but I'm loving it. <laughs> and then out of nowhere, Stay. I hear. <laughs> So what? I, I look and his ass still there. So, so I couldn't see back. You, you thought it was her ass? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't see. I couldn't see back. I, I look and it's just ass in my face. So I'm like, yo, I think the cops is like, is like thing. So she starts putting on her pants and saying, now I pull over to the thing. State we, we in Long Island. We in Long Island. So it's like a Nassau County yeah. white cop. Yeah. And he walks over to the car. He's like. What what was going on in the car? And I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> Meanwhile, I probably still smell like ass. Because <laughs> oh. it was just bare ass in the car. <laughs> he's like, like I, he's like, I saw a lot of commotion in the car. I'm like, I don't know. It, it's, it's four black, it's four of us black. Yeah. Here. And I'm like, nah, it was no commotion. I was like, we was listening to music. Because I wasn't speeding. Okay. We, I was and like, you weren't drinking. Yeah. No, I wasn't speeding or drinking. Okay. All so right. we All wasn't right. doing anything wrong. But he's like. I, he's like, I, I saw commotion in the car. And I'm like, I don't know what commotion. Meanwhile, I'm like, it's her fat ass. <laughs> so so <laughs> jiggling Drink, all through the shaking the whole. Yeah. Um, long story short, he like gives us, I forgot what he gave us tickets Citation? for. Citation? Citation. But I left that stop with like $800 worth of tickets. Damn. And this was college. So that was like what I made in a year. But that's a million dollars. Yeah. That was my yearly salary, $800. And... I and, I and then I came, I remember coming back home and I was telling like my cousin, like, yo, I got this $800 worth of tickets. I got a court date. And he's like, oh, you could fight it. I'm like, I'm gonna fight it. She was, her ass was, her out, ass was out. Yeah, like what is there to fight? Oh, so man. I ended up like fighting like two of them. I got it dropped down to like $400. Uh-huh. But uh, yeah, that cost me, that ass shaking cost oh, me $400. Oh goodness, that's crazy. Did they chip in at least? Did she chip in with her family? No, ass? her only service was, was the dance. dance. She was like, I'll make it up. That was like the most. <laughs> Bro, that's crazy. But yeah. you know what's funny? You bring up Sweka. What was it, Sweka? Um, Sky. Yeah. That's the and then uh, remember Devil Spring. Oh, of course I remember Devil Spring. Which, which one? That's the one in the plastic handle, right? Yeah, the Devil Springs. The, Devil the Springs. Devil's Nectar, bro. Talking about like your your friends doing stupid shit to like either impress you or impress girls. So, I think this was my sophomore year. I'm going to a party. It's me and my homeboy. We go. He uh. So like my school, they had like different dance crews. And he was cool with the dance. <laughs> Would you go to school in the 80s? <laughs> Basically. <laughs> and um, he liked this girl that was on the dance team. There was the greasers. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. and the pink ladies. <laughs> uh, he liked this girl. And it was, was like, what kind of dance? Dance, like, you know, crump. Crump, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. So they had um they had a they had a showcase and I had DJ and then they had an after party. So like they were older. So they lived off campus. So yeah. like my school was a dry school. You couldn't drink on campus. Right. So like what people would do is you would always go to like whoever's house, whoever had an apartment off campus. You know, we had a liquor store that was there where all you had to do was flash a fake ID and then it was cool. Sure. Yeah. So we're over there and like, it's just me and him, mind you, uh, it's very uh, light and then it's me and him are the only dark ones in there. So mm -hmm. I'm already on my P's and Q's. I've right. seen every movie. I've seen every news document. So like, I'm... Uh, I'm taking fake shots. Like they're pouring me a shot. I'm like, I'm a big fake shot. I'm a fake. I, I, this, this just did not feel like like safe environment. Yeah, yeah. So just I'm, take some I'm taking fake, shot. fake shots. So like they're all getting real drunk. I'm like, I've seen this before. So I'm I'm on point. But then they start passing around the handle, you know, counting it down to see how long you can drink. Now I feel bad about this because there was a lot of backwash. So like 
I'm like faking like I'm chugging. This is freshman year? Sophomore. Sophomore. I'm faking like I'm chugging, but I'm not drinking shit. And like they count like, oh my God, it's 30 seconds. I'm like, you guys are silly. I didn't drink anything, right? Yeah. So I put it down. He snatches the bottle from me. <laughs> he, he snatched the bottle from me because he's trying to impress his girl. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. I, and I couldn't give him the signal of I didn't drink anything. Yeah. He just like starts downing it. So he drank like 30 seconds of Devil Springs. I'm like, ah. <laughs> Devil <laughs> Springs is one of the worst trying, liquors. It's probably the worst liquor you could probably buy. Or Georgie is up there. With I like think it was George. No, nah, it was Georgie. Georgie, yeah. Georgie That's the, the, the plastic bottle. The plastic. Yeah. And... I'm like, oh my God. So he drinks it for 30 seconds. He's trying to outdo me to impress the girl. And like, you know, when you see somebody that's so drunk that like the girl from last, uh, the last episode where she's just gone, like he just goes downhill. The little dick girl? Yeah. Yeah. So we, we basically pregame there that we went to the bar, like the campus bar that everybody goes to. And mind you, like, I think he walked in maybe 10 minutes later. He's so wasted that, like, we have to walk him back to campus. So <laughs> he's standing outside. We're waiting for the rest of the team to come. And he just face plants yeah. on the cement. And he still has a scar to this day. And I, try, I, I'm an asshole. But I tell him, like, remember, don't drink and party yeah. with me. Yeah, that ha- that reminds <laughs> me. I had a similar story like that in college too. One time, one of my uh, one of my boys in uh, in college, not my roommate or anybody, but he, we went out to some. We we met these two. I think we met these two like white girls at this game at a game. Okay, right? basketball. And, or, yeah, like yeah. basketball game. And they invited us to like some bar. Okay, right? and we and we go to the bar, and it's me and him, and. Like he just like completely cock blocked me for no reason. Really? Like, at the bar. Look, like it was just so weird, bro. Like we get to the bar and the girl is clearly feeling you me. And one of them is like not not feeling him. Like uh-huh. I feel like it was 50-50 with he, him. He, he could have pushed yeah, the game. Yeah, it was 50-50 with him. And but one girl is on me. Um, I go to the bathroom, like to to pee, whatever. I come back and he's like, bro, we gotta get out of here. I'm like, why? What happened? He's like, this bar is mad racist. I'm like, we're, I mean, we're in Long Island. Like, it's not like we're not like in the middle of Mississippi. Like, like this is like Nassau County. Yeah. Like, there's black people here. I mean, it was obviously like mostly white, but I'm uh-huh. like, this doesn't seem like any racist bar. He's like, nah, this bar is mad racist. He's like, some dude just came up to me and was like, I go through black people. And I'm like, what? What? And he's like, yeah, he said, I run through black people. I'm like, <laughs> that don't even sound like something. Oh, like, uh, I'm like, what's the context to this? He was like, he was just walking through and. Instead of saying, excuse me, he was like, I, I run through black people. And I'm like, bro, look around. Like, everyone is part. Like, this don't seem the, like it's that true. That kind of environment. He's like, nah, we got to go. I'm like, bro, look, you could go. I'm going to just chill. Uh-huh. And he's like, he's like, nah, I ain't leaving you here to die. I'm like, <laughs> bro. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, tw- <laughs> I'm 10 minutes away from Southside Queens. I don't think that this is like... The most dangerous Yeah, the place. most, like, racist, like... Nah. He's like, nah, I ain't leaving you. Long story short, he drags me out the bar. I couldn't even say bye to the girls. I get hit up from the girl. She, like, texts me. She's like, where did you where go? Where did you go? <laughs> and I'm like, the dude I was with started wild and saying it was, like, some racist. And she's like, racist? Like, what? Like, this is... We came here with you. Yeah, yeah. Like, we, like, <laughs> like we, what? Bro, like, we this brought is, you? Yeah. yeah. And, and, then, and then I'm like, yeah, I don't know. He said some guy was like, he runs through black people. And I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. And she was like, was he like, she was like, because she kind of felt that he wanted her. Uh-huh. And she was like, was he weird that like I was kind of into you? And I was like, I don't know. Like he didn't say nothing about oh, it. Man. And she was, and she, verbatim, she was like, I wrote it. I would have totally got my friend to hook up with him. And then I said that to him, and he was like, damn, <laughs> let's go back. He was like, maybe they wasn't that racist. Nah, he, he didn't say that, but that was his energy. And I was like, nah, yeah, I, I like these are the lessons I feel like you need to learn when you're growing up. Oh man. Cause now, like, that's you need the experience. You definitely do. You definitely do. And then another thing too is like you also have to like have the right person to go out with. Like, you don't yeah. want somebody that's just going to trip off for no reason. Especially like, but you don't know that in college. That's like your boy, right? Bro, certain people you go out with and they are just the perfect wingman. 
It's, that's why you we stopped going out. Yeah, you don't got to worry about them. That's why we stopped going out. Bro. That's why we stopped going out. I don't want to bring up old we stuff. We can't. We can't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to bring up old that's stuff. That's why we stopped hanging out. But certain people, you could drop them off with any type of like girl or vibe and, and they just know how to play it. It's, it's going to be like, like. They not too aggressive. They know how to chill out, it, make them feel comfortable. You ever see Steph Curry dribble the basketball? Kyrie Irving dribble yeah. the basketball, and it's almost just like yes. the ball is a part of him. Yes. <laughs> some some people, guys. Oh, it's some, magic. Some guys think they good wingmen. <laughs> Until you, and then you see them. And then you put them around a girl. You bring them around a girl to wingman, and they're like, when are we going to leave and have unprotected sex? And you're like, bro. <laughs> I just. <laughs> <laughs> what? Bro, or, we, we just got here. Take and, it easy. And then there's the, the ones who is like magic where as soon as you walk in, it's just like the girl says it to you. And you're like, oh, what did you just do? I like I like <laughs> a wingman. And again, I'm not out. I'm not in this world anymore. But I like a wingman who the girl, he plays it so cool that the girl he's wing winging doesn't he be like, Yo, like, is what's, he into me? Like, what's like, up? What? And I'm like, you gotta see, you gotta play. And like, no, because he's cool, but I can't tell. Because I'm not like an aggressive dude like that. No, like, I, you I, can't. I, listen, any girl that's ever uh, hooked up with me, I can I can say this unequivocally. I don't know if that's the correct word, but that's it feels correct. That's a legal correct. term. That's a legal yeah. term. Right? I can say this unequivocally. Any girl that has ever hooked up with me was aggressive. Wanted to hook up with Yes, him. yes. Like, 1,000%. I've never convinced a girl in my life. That's the school we come from. I don't have that in me. Yeah. I don't have that desire. I don't convince. Uh, you, they, they, they want to. Yes. You know? Yes. Um, and, not to say like they were all over uh, me. I'm no, saying like just, they were in, like they were they into, were into me. you. Yeah, but, they were into and, me. And then the, the, the magic of a, the, the best wingman is they play their, their role, they play their position and they take pride in it. So like in case in point, like you out, it's two on two and the girl is feeling you, then it's just automatically, you got to shift. You got to put you in the light. Like yeah. you can't hate. Sometimes you got to take one for the team. Yeah. And I think the most, I think the best thing, wingmaning is it's a selfless art. job. It's an art. It's a selfless. <laughs> Really what, Marty? Is. You don't like you, it's a, you don't care. It, it's I, hard. It really is. You do so much for no wingman. Wingman is it's very true. selfless. It's true. It's you have true. to you have to be a giving person. Yes, you can't be a selfish no, person. No, you can't. It's kind of like community service. Like you got to mm. It's like giving back. Mm. You don't do community. Yes, it'll make you feel good, but you do community service to help others, mm. Mm. and that's what wing. Manning is and helping others makes you feel good. It makes you feel good, but you gotta do it with no intention. No intention. You gotta do it with I'm just doing this because it's the right thing to do. Or this is just who I am. Yes, I am a facilitator. And 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 understand that when the roles are flipped, the other person would, would do it. Give for you. back for you. And then that's when you want to step your winging up because yes. when you get winged. And it's like, wow, that was magic. Yes. It, it, it makes you, it, it puts you in a place where it's just like, all right, I got to step my game up. And rea in reality, I'm going to tell you guys the truth. Because I know there's a lot of people listening that want to be better wingmen. Shout out. And the the truth in wingmanning is your only role is really to just keep the friend company. That's it. Keep the night going. That's it. You don't have to hook up. You don't have to be... Just keep the friend entertained enough Laugh where man. she doesn't tell her friend, let's leave. I don't like him. Yeah. I don't like his vibes. That's it. That's it. That's that's your main goal. Your right. Your main goal, especially if the friend has a scowl, because you know, we've seen it. Yeah. And pro wingmen will know like, okay, that energy, maybe she had a bad day. Maybe she had a great day. Maybe she's overprotective. Maybe she's actually really in love with the girl. You have to be able to analyze. You got to turn into the Terminator. <laughs> Boom. Have the whole play ready. You I know, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest with you. I think the majority of times that I've wingman, I didn't even hook up with the girl. You were just there. Yeah, I was just doing it. It was I was giving back. That's it. I remember because I used to do. I've I've wingman. I'm gonna be honest. I've wingman while being in a relationship. Mm. Now is this cheating? No, Marty. Did you have the intent to hook up? No. Then no. 
it, 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 there's no intent, like law and order. You know, I've done the move when I'm wingman, and I've done the move just to put her friend at ease. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'll tell him straight up, like, listen, I don't want to. I, I don't. I don't I'm, like, I'm, I just want to. I just want to to have a good time. Yeah, I just want to chill. Like, you, you lay that you out. Could, you could pull out. Like, I've, I've done this move, and it worked out. And me and the other girl became friends. Friends. Yeah, because she didn't feel the. Because sometimes women would be like, oh, he's, he's trying to like just trying to be some creepy wingman yes, stuff. Yes. And I'm like, nah, I'm just trying. Let's just chill. I'm trying to keep you entertained while your friend get like she's obviously into him. They into each other. So let's just kick it, bro. One time and. This was early in my wingmanism. Mm -hmm. Is I I I was in college mm -hmm. and my homeboy was talking to this girl and she was out with her friend. So I was just like, hey, how you doing? Um, I said something. She was just like, that's the best line you got. Like that's your opening line. And what was it hello? Yeah, yeah, one of them. Sometimes and, women, you know, uptown. Yeah. Um, I was a little bit flustered because I'm like, hold on, wait a minute. Like I'm literally just trying to. Mm -hmm. Say hello. And instead of coming up with something sn snazzy, I told the truth. I said, all I said was hello. Yeah. I don't know you. I'm out here with my friend. I'm having yeah. a good time. Boom. Neutralize the whole situation. That's you know, that's... sometimes you gotta live in your truth because you could you could you could find people whose defenses are so strong they don't even realize it. Some women, some women are born to cock block. Mm. 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 <laughs> I'll say it. Mm. <laughs> that's, that's gold. I'm sorry, Marty. That's, Somebody had to say it's it. It's gold. It's gold. That's their whole mission in life. Some women are put on this earth to to make sure that their friends don't have sex. It's like this. <laughs> that is their sole purpose. Look, look. look are you watching? Why can we get a Marty? Now you're laughing. Do are you, you watching? agree with this or do you disagree with this? Are you watching though? I agree with that. You I agree with this. People. Okay. Marty, so I'm not saying anything crazy. Are we, can we get you watching? It's like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that hand is some of your best friends. <laughs> get that shit out of here. Yeah. I know these women. We I'm do not, yeah. I, I know these women. Yep. And I'm not I'm not saying I'm not I'm not shading them one way or the other. We appreciate them too. I, I'm saying they exist. Yes. This is a real thing. We've seen it. Yes. And with those women, you got to handle them with care. With so much care? Because just like Ooh. just like you are a professional wingman, they, they are, are a professional, professional SWAT team. <laughs> Swatting away. What was it? Any, any, any type of... <laughs> that's how it was. Swatting away at the Every any inclination of penis that comes near their Get out of here. Yeah. I've seen it. I, we've seen it. We lived it. I've, sometimes I've been blocked. Girls, I'm not trying to sleep with. I'm like... I held the door for her and her friends like she's, she's not interested. She's the, she don't like, like she don't like short dumb men. I'm like dumb. Whoa, you I big, held the door. You big gorilla. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, whoa, what? what? <laughs> Wait a minute. Why are you what? behaving this way with what? me? I just, I just these like, women are very whoa, difficult. Whoa, and what do you think causes that? I, life trauma, but you said something that's very key because. You have to treat them with care. And it yes. takes experience for you to realize that because there have been instances where you try to match energy with energy and it's like an I immovable mean, object. I've seen I've seen a blocker and a wingman almost go to blows. blows right? <laughs> right? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's, it's, it's an immovable object <laughs> yeah, versus it. something that's not going to stop. It's... it's so <laughs> I've seen him square. <laughs> like what's up? And it, it's it's a it's an art. Like, Yo, <laughs> you were supposed to wing me. Nah. No, I shoot a family. I seen it. We seen <laughs> it. Drinks, <laughs> drinks poured. Like nah, fuck, fuck this guy. Whoa, how would this? Happen? Yeah, I, so, I've seen I've seen a blocker and a wingman step outside. Yes, to have a to word. shoot a fair one. Yeah, and I'm like, bro, how, how did, did we this go happen? to this? How did this happen? Your literally only job was to entertain. That's her. it. That's it. That's why I handle with care. Yeah, it's like it's like a fragile. You gotta like hold this side yep, up. Yep. It's like very fragile. And, and I've seen the greatest of wingmen take the 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 most the the blockiest of the blockers yeah. and turn them into puppy dogs. You seen that? I've seen it. Now that's was now like, watching that. That's I like said, watching. Oh my god. That's like watching Picasso paint. Yeah. Legit. I had a tear. <laughs> Watching, watching, <laughs> no, I'll say this. Watching a wingman flip a blocker flip. is like watching Picasso flip. paint. Oh my God. That's mad. That's the clip. I that is it. beauty. Bro, I had a tear. It is beauty. I had a tear. In going the art. From, going from, ah, la, 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 to, yeah. Where the it. friend wants to leave now and the blocker, the blocker wants to stay. 
No, the blocker wants to leave with the wingman. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like yeah. the blocker doesn't want to go home. Yeah. It's it's mastery. I've seen it. I've seen it. I'm just like, this is art. Yeah. Picasso? Yeah. Yeah. Rembrandt. I think it's is sometimes it's hard to wingman. Like somebody like me, I'm very, very self-aware. Oh, I was going to mm. say, and you come with a huge light, too. So, but sometimes, I think to be a good wingman, you need to, on the spectrum of self-awareness, you need to fall in the middle. Yeah. You to can't be, good, be too self-aware yeah. to be so? a wingman. Yes, because sometimes, if you're too self-aware, uh -huh. like, you'll see a woman not being interested in and your boy, you just, you just, and you'll be like, let's get out of here. here. I'm out of here. You but your it. boy who's not that self-aware, he knows that he's been there before, and he could flip her. Okay, okay. If you let All him, right. like, spit could, some game and get, he could flip her. He's but a middle. super self-aware person be like, she's not interested. She's not I'm, out. I'm out. Yeah. Don't waste the time. Right. Versus the less self-aware, I'm in the middle. I can I can steer this shit. Yeah, I can, okay. I can, I can reverse this. Okay, okay. You know? Okay, yeah. So that's why sometimes... It, you got to find a balance. Okay. I, what you want in a wingman is you want a guy who has absolutely no trouble getting women. Like a guy who's has had his fair share of women. He has no trouble getting them. He even could reach in his phone and hit some up for the night if he really wanted to. He's to. just chilling. Yeah. Tonight, he's just chilling. And there's no... In, you want the guy... Selfless. Oh, and, mm. and no intent. Selfless. No mm. intent is very big because then it's just loose. It's funny it's mm. i'm gonna make you laugh you law know? and order no intent no intent yeah and then it's all all of a sudden because i the, i've seen a picasso get painted and i was yeah, just that's I beauty. Was amazed that's beauty it went from oh uh i don't like uh why is he looking like that to, yeah. <laughs> stop stupid like he should, write a, stop he should write stupid? a book Bro, I was amazed. Yeah. I was just sitting there like this guy. I gave him a round of applause. Yeah, yeah. I've I've flipped I've flipped, flipped a blocker it? before, but not to hook up with me into friendship. Into friendship. But that's still if that's yeah. still a that's okay. a Rembrandt. I flip yeah. her into friendship because you're going from one extreme to basically the other. Yeah, but it's it's not the same because it's a little cheat code ish because you could just be like. If you kind of tell them like, hey, I'm harmless. Like, I'm not, like, we just could chill. Mm -hmm. That's kind of like a, a little bit of a cheat code. You kind of just laying it you out gotta for them. You got to use your tools. Yeah, but um, I never flip like a not interested into like an interested. Mm. But yeah, like, I've said this, like, I'm not the kind of guy that. Convince. No, you convince like, you her. need to know yeah. me, like me, and have seen yeah. at least two of my specials. Yeah. <laughs> to find me even <laughs> merely attractive. HBO Max. But yeah. the, 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 the best part about the flip was how it was just subtle in like. First of all, you know, it, there's drinks involved, right? Mm -hmm. But you got to make sure that there's no there's no dark liquor. Because Hennessy, you can't beat Hennessy, especially if, they're, yeah. uh, if it's a strong blocker. So you want to make sure there's tequila. Then you want to make sure that there's good music. So, like, the music was fun. Can I interject for yes, one second? Please. A, a great trait in a, in a good wingman is a guy who can dance. <laughs> a guy who yeah. can dance... That's what you really want. You really need that. You really That's want very that key. Because That's very key. At some point, you at some point, if you're at a club lounge setting, at some point you're gonna have to take a friend away yes. to dance. Yes. And it's very comforting if her friend has a dance partner also. And an advanced move, an advanced technique is pretending not knowing how to dance. So then they can teach you. But don't be a fool at it. Yes. Where you look and you're embarrassing. Yes. Like, so you want to have mean? some rhythm. Yeah. But also like, yeah. oh, you don't know what's going on. And then you flip them. Yeah. Dancing Th is very important for like men. I know some men don't like to dance. They're like, dancing is a very important quality. It's a skill. Yeah. It's, it's a very a important quality. It's a skill. Yeah. What were you saying? I'm sorry. Uh, I, I was saying that, that like, you want to make sure if there's alcohol involved, have the right drink. So you got to just ask, what are you drinking? Like uh, what, the politeness politeness even in the face of rudeness there, uh, there's almost so much rudeness you can take where it's just going to be like okay you know what yeah. i'm not because this this person is just being so yeah. polite you got to come in with the energy that you have a girlfriend mm. Mm. and and you're not trying to like I do you think do you think women sometimes want to hook up with the guy more than if he had a girlfriend than when he doesn't yeah i mean i think that's i think that's a fact i, I think, think that's a fact right? i think women yeah. i think Especially like if you're like in a happy relationship. I mean, we've spoke about this, like these guys that like or women who post their boyfriends and how great they are. Like, I mean, I think I don't even judge women who do this. I think it's kind of the thing of like, well, this is a proven guy. Like mm. if it's like mm. a guy who's okay. in a relationship and doesn't cheat, this is a proven 
good guy. Like, Stamped. Yeah, this is like I want this guy. Yeah. But doesn't that contradict them in a way then? Well, well, they they believe that like this is a proven good guy. I just have to get him to me for me for myself. <laughs> yeah, for sure. like so he's going to be no to nobody, everybody else. But I just got to get him to me to me. And once they get me, they're gonna just be like the proven good That's guy. That's it. That yeah. They, yeah. That they have. That's delusion. It's crazy. It, Bro, it, it is. <laughs> people like, like most of the people who I know, I mean, I don't know anyone who cheats, but most of the people who cheat, <laughs> they be honest about it. What? To, to, to their so homies, like girls, though. To like to girls. girls. Yeah, yeah, to yeah, girls. Yeah, yeah. yeah, to girls. I don't think that gets them very far, though. It does. You think? It does. It? And it eliminates the crazies a little bit, mm. like the best you can. Because mm. I think I think what women dislike the most when it comes to like stuff like that is being lied to. Yeah, the dishonesty. And played. Yeah. So if you take that part out where you like, I was 100% honest with I you. I put it on the table. Like you, it's like, you can't really get mad at the, me. No, Oh, you could get mad, but you can't say that. You lied. Yeah. I've yeah. heard that. Well, you just, can't get mad. Yeah, I told yeah. you what it was. Yeah. I yeah. think even though sometimes they do, I think if you have that line where you can be like, I told you exactly what it was. What this was gonna happen. I'm talking as far as like the side girl. Mm -hmm. You can't do that. You could you could right. tell the side girl that. Yeah. I mean, you you can't tell your main girl. Because you know, then your, you'll be, yeah. you know, outside in the rain with a boom box. Hi guys. Crying. This has been really interesting. Well, this was another gem. Magic. Should we do a space map? Yeah. Big space map. Nah, yeah, well, that was a that was a good topic. Uh, Oof, it, it made me cry. Hall of Fame. The, man. the, the Picasso. Oof. Okay. Uh, I'll do some uh, facts about our solar system. Uh, the solar system uh, that we live in was formed about 4.6 billion years ago. Uh, the entire universe they, they said was formed 13.6 13. 13. Yeah. billion years ago. Yeah. Um, that means that there's stars in the sky that we can see that when they when that light was sh because the universe is always expanding, expanding. expanding at like some ridiculous like a million miles per second, mm -hmm. some craziness like that. Because of the because the universe is always expanding, when that light set out in this direction. We didn't. We weren't even created. Mm -hmm. This wasn't here. Mm -hmm. It's just taken like that long to travel to this end of the universe. I have a a, top, a, a question. I mean, I'm not a natural physicist. But I'll <laughs> I try to answer my best. I mean, the way that you just broke down this whole episode, I feel like you, yeah, you, you I get kind, it. You, some kind of science. I get it. I get it. <laughs> Did the universe have a bar mitzvah when it 13 billion? billion years ago? That was what 600 million years ago. That's what it would be. I mean. That's a good question. Call it's, it. If it's if 13, you know. 13 billion, 13.6, whatever. I right get a lot right. of my from Neil deGrasse. Okay. And Can we get him? Tyson. He actually does do podcasts. Um, you know what's crazy? You know what's interesting? Like we when we speak about years, right? Yeah. Cause like what is a year? It's not a real thing. It's we not created a, we it. We made it. Yeah. We made it up. Like the you when you say the universe is 13.6 billion, billion years, years ago, the universe doesn't know years. No. It's the universe just, is just like we, a year for us is when the earth revolves around the, the sun. sun. We're just a tiny solar system in a massive universe that the universe doesn't care or know. I have exists. another question though, because isn't our sun actually rotating around another sun? No, our sun is, it's uh, not fixed. It's, no, it's speed. It's, 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 moving. it's moving. It's speeding through the, what they call, we're all going to, to what they call the great attractor, uh -huh. which they don't know what it is, but it's, it's like the galaxies, <laughs> the galaxies are all headed that way and they don't know why. Really? Yeah, there's like a thing that's pulling us and they don't know why. They think it might be a supermassive black hole. Is it a that's, sail? That's pulling up. Yeah, maybe it is. <laughs> but also um, there's another galaxy that's headed right toward us that's gonna crash into us in like in about a couple billion years. Uh, yeah. I hmm. hope we got a galaxy insurance. Yeah. Wait, <laughs> you were in Albany last weekend. Correct. Yeah, so did you read about the solar flare? Yeah. I heard about it. Yeah. Yeah. Did, did you go outside to see if you could see the Northern Lights? No, I, I did not see the Northern Lights. I saw it in video, though. I saw the, the thing. By the way, that solar flare is coming from so far away mm -hmm. that if we were within like one light year closer, those solar flares that are now just Northern Lights would have completely fried our entire planet. Burned it. Yeah, Burned just it one light year, which is about 200 trillion miles, I believe. Let's find out like where that. the sun is racing to. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do some research. Right. Come back next week, the Doha Podcast. We got range, baby. We go from wingmanning, college stories, to solar flares. flares. Volume 59, thank y'all for listening. Woo. Come back next week. As you know, Sunday nights, we go live. Peace.